Discrepancies over RTS bus riding regulations are causing confusion. Local parents say their students are getting asked for IDs when they're not supposed to. WUFT's Maria Roberts is live in the newsroom. Maria, you spoke with city and school representatives about the problem. What's going on? The rules state Alachua County K through 12 students are allowed to ride the buses for a reduced fare. The issue is, while the RTS website says no identification is needed, parents say their kids are still being asked for one. RTS says students are not required to present a school-issued ID to ride for a reduced rate. But this may not actually be the case for many students in Gainesville. City spokesman Chip Skinner says it's up to the discretion of individual bus drivers whether to check IDs or not. There are those extreme circumstances where you may have a middle schooler that looks much older or a high schooler that looks much younger, at which point one of our bus operators may ask for one of their Alachua County issued IDs. Skinner says, the city usually receives a couple of complaints each year. Students and parents complain the policy is based on how old the students look. Regardless, Skinner recommends students keep their IDs on them anytime they are riding city transportation. Once our operators become familiar with the students, uh, no matter what age they are, typically they're not going to ask for an ID. However, we do have uh, times where the normal bus driver may be sick or on vacation and we may have a new operator that may not know that child. So it is always the best practice to keep an ID on hand just in case. Another problem parents say, not all students are automatically provided with an ID. Homeschool, Florida Virtual, or Alachua County eSchool students do not have IDs provided to them. However, the school district says e-school students can request one from the county. All they need to do is ask and we can certainly provide them with one. We just haven't been asked in the seven years that uh, the e-school has been around. As for homeschooled and FLVS students, they don't have this option. Instead, Skinner says they should go to their local DMV and purchase a photo ID showing their birth date. Reporting live in the newsroom, Maria Roberts, WUFT News.